Hey guys, Jared back. So you just updated your Samsung Galaxy S4 i337M to Android 4.3, maybe even using my guide. Um, but now you wanna root your device and you don't know how, that's totally okay. This We're gonna show you how to do it right now and this is super, super duper easy and quick. So first thing, uh, go ahead in the description below this video and I'll have a link for you guys to an XDA page uh, for uh, Chainfire's CF Auto Root. Now it says Canadian models only, but this should work on all i337 sorry i337m variants not i337 not i9505 not i9500 this is just for i337m variant um samsung galaxy s4 devices so once you're here we're going to scroll on not to the first post not to the second post but down to the third post right here and we're actually going to be going and clicking on this particular link that i'm highlighting right here and this is the download link so you're going to go ahead and click on that that'll take you to another page. And then at the bottom of this page, actually, you'll see right here is where the uh, download link for CF Auto Root is. So go ahead and download that and it'll uh, come as a zipped up folder. So um, once you've found that, make sure, or once you've downloaded that, put it maybe even, I just recommend on your desktop. And it'll actually come with a bunch of stuff. It'll come zipped up, so just unzip it or extract it using either WinZip or WinRAR, pick your poison. Uh, and this is what you'll be left with, the actual CF Auto Root file itself and then uh, Odin version 1.85. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up uh, Odin version 1.85 there within the folder, click on yes, all right? And then what we're gonna do is put our device into download mode. So how we do that is simply, uh, we're gonna wanna first power off the device. So we'll just power it off real quickly here. All right, and then what we're gonna do is press and hold volume down and the power button until we get into download mode. So your screen will look something like that and then just click the volume up button to continue and we are now in download mode. At which point you can actually plug your device in to your PC. And I'm actually just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys here so you can get a better idea of what's going on. And let me actually just reposition this a little bit better so you can get there. There we go. Um, all right, so now uh, you can see that it's turned yellow or whatever version you might have. It might turn a different color, but most importantly is that in the little dialog box here down at the bottom, it says added, which means that it has in fact recognized that our phone is connected to the computer. So uh, we've got a bunch of different buttons on in the middle here, bootloader, PDA, phone, and CSC. We're actually going to be using PDA for this particular method and then we're gonna go ahead and locate um, where it is that we uh, put that file so again I put it on my desktop so I'm looking and I just named a folder uh, uh, Galaxy S4 CF auto root uh, just for simplicity and then it's in there and as you can see the only one that'll pop up because it's automatically looking for a dot tar uh, file extension which is what this is um, here it is right here so we're just gonna go ahead and click on open to load it into our little tray there as you can see in this box here it's all loaded up ready to go and from that point literally all you have to do is click start all right, and you'll notice down here, a bunch of stuff is happening. Um, the progress bar is moving across quite quickly. This should happen very quick. Same thing just happened on my phone, but it went by too fast for me to show you. Uh, we're now showing a green pass and it's actually rebooting our device. Now watch what happens. Um, it's gonna, there we go, there it is. So now CF Auto Root's actually working its magic. And this should take just a moment. So be patient. Alrighty, so now that we're at this screen, we can go ahead and just unplug our device because we no longer need our computer anymore because, well, technically speaking, our device is now rooted, but we're going to double check by uh, taking one step further. So we're just going to wait for this to uh, finish fully booting up. Alrighty, so we're finished booting up. So what we're going to do is actually, just to prove a point to you guys, we're going to jump into apps. We're going to swipe on over. Oh, and there it is. And as you can see, Super SU, which is what actually has been pushed to our device to um, grant us root access. The application is in fact installed in the app tray there, as you can see. So, but just to double check, you know, to make, to, to, to stay safe, we're going to go to the Play Store here and we are going to search for root checker. Root checker. All right, so there it is from Joey Krim. So that's the one that I personally always use. You can use the other one if you want. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, download and install it. Takes two seconds. There we go. Let's go ahead and open it on up. We're gonna click on agree. We're gonna click okay. Then we're gonna click on verify root access right there. 
and it's going to ask us for super user permission, which is generally a good sign. That tells me right now that we actually have root access. We're going to click grant. And as you can see right there, it says, congratulations, this device is root access. And that's it. You now have a rooted uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 running Android 4.3, as you can see there. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click that likes button down below. It always goes a long way. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.